In this video, let's talk about the uh, Java 8 parallel stream. It's quite interesting because what the parallel stream uh, does may not what you expect it. So a parallel stream is wrapped around the Java 7 Fox join framework. And uh, under the hood, uh, your task is still handled by multiple threads, uh, ex uh, managed by a thread pool. The thread pool is called fork join thread pool. Java 8 uh, added uh, framework support for parallel stream. So the connection interface now have a default method uh, called split reader. And uh, many collection implementations override this split reader. The split reader does is it tells the uh, uh, Java runtime how to partition your connection into several sub-collections, then submit each sub-collection to a thread, pool, uh, a thread pool worker thread to execute. So in Java 8, all the programmer has to do is call the stream parallel or a connection a parallel stream. And then <coughs> that connection or stream is, partition, is partitioned and uh, each partition is handled by a separate worker thread in the fork join thread pool. Um, however, if we look it through, um, the parallel is, is a new concept, but it's not a new magic. Uh, we still use the uh, concurrent uh, threads to handle them. So uh, first of all, uh, some operations are naturally sequential. Uh, core parallel won't Im improve the performance. For example, uh, find first. Uh, either you have one thread to find first, you have many threads to find first. Uh, the result uh, won't, the performance won't improve. And um, uh, some corrections are hard to be partitioned. Um, for example, linked list, you have to walk through the whole nodes in order to partition them, so partition is expensive. And a uh, core parallel may give you even worse performance, uh, even worse performance. And uh, when parallel streams do help, uh, they are not the fastest because parallel stream also use thread pool and uh, the thread pool used is a uh, fork join thread pool and uh, it is a fixed uh, size thread pool the size is equal to the available processors this is not optimized the optimized value should uh, follow this formula which is generally larger than the available processors so if you use a traditional thread pool, it might run faster than parallel, but parallel is convenient. You see two keywords do the job, and uh, you should be happy. However, a parallel stream um, use a thread pool under, under the hood, so it also suffer the race condition and sometimes through concurrent modification exception, if you don't know uh, how to share objects, a uh, thread safe. And um, for ordering, a uh, parallel stream cannot guarantee ordering. Think about that. A lot of uh, threads concurrently uh, processing elements, um, the order is not uh, guaranteed. It's just uh, thread poor behavior. For performance, they are affected by several factors. <coughs> um, if you try to uh, call limit find first, like we said before, those operations are naturally sequential. Um, it's not good for concurrent uh, processing. So. Either you use a concurrent uh, 
traditional concurrent technique or you use parallel that didn't uh, uh, make your program faster and uh, uh, some corrections uh, if, uh, if, if you have a small set of data like concurrency they want to help because con either concurrency or parallel they have an overhead so you have a small amount of data you, you shouldn't use concurrency or parallel and um, stream source also affects the parallel stream a rainist is easy to put, uh, decom decompose. Linked nest hard to. You have to walk through the whole elements before you can um, decompose them. And uh, range is good. Iterate is not because you have to calculate the first, uh, the previous elements in order to know the next uh, elements. So naturally, it's sequential. Hash set, tree set is easy to be but is uh, to be decomposed. And um, uh, we have a concept of um, stateful operation. If an operation uh, don't have internal state, it is stateless. Uh, the example is a uh, map and a filter. Uh, you take an element, you output an element, you don't have any internal state. Uh, other operations like solid and distinct need you to know uh, all the elements before you can answer the question. So <coughs> for each pipeline step, the sorted method keep caching your elements until it caches all the elements into uh, uh, internal cache. Then it can answer your question. So it have a a huge internal states and uh, those operations are stateful <coughs> stateless operation is always safe because they have nothing to share and uh, nothing to mess up by multiple threads a stateful operation however have internal states those internal states could be shared by multiple threads and uh, traditional race condition could uh, also happen to the <coughs> uh, parallel operations. So uh, give uh, some example here. <coughs> we have a for each. Uh, what the for each does, <coughs> we call the parallel, then we call for each. For each keep uh, uh, adds add the value to the sum uh, because when you call parallel uh, this sum is handled by multiple threads so you have multiple threads uh, modify this into sum and as, as you see it's not thread safe as a result you get a different sum uh, each time so the fix is you share the uh, you safeguard the shared objects here you uh, you do the same sum but uh, the a sum you see is a atomic integer this is a, um, a thread safe uh, this is a, a thread safe class so you can share the objects uh, between the threads without worry about anything and uh, <coughs> Parallel stream also throws concurrent modification exception. Here is an example. In the map method, you're trying to, uh, while you're processing the elements, you are modifying your uh, stream source. So in that case, you have multiple threads trying to, some is trying to read, some is trying to add, and you get a concurrent modification exception. So parallel stream also suffer traditional uh, multiple threads race condition, and um, that's that's a key point of understanding parallel stream. Parallel stream is a special thread pool. It suffers everything traditional 
concurrency program suffers and uh, the technique to fixing is also the traditional uh, techniques like uh, use a thread safe class um, use atomic um, use unmodifiable objects so parallel strip is not a uh, new magic, you still have to understand the traditional concurrency in order to use it correctly.